In the last year of World War II and the years that followed, a group of men and women from 13 different nations began a mission that continues to this day. The recovery and restoration of over 5 million pieces of art, sculptures, and other important cultural items that were stolen by the Nazis. But one woman in this amazing story is often overlooked. Her name is Rose Vallon, and she was one of the greatest spies the war had ever seen. This is the lost hero of World War II. From 1933 to 1945, the Nazis raided country after country, seemingly taking whatever they wanted. Adolf Hitler was an unsuccessful artist who was denied admission to the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts. Many speculate that because of this, Hitler was personally offended and took that anger out in the form of confiscating any form of art that wasn't German. He classified these artists as degenerates and sadly had most of them burn or traded to fund other Nazi activities. But not all of them were lost and we have Miss Vallon to thank for that. Right after the war ended, a group of incredibly resourceful and tenacious men and women set out across Europe, mostly on foot or in a stolen Volkswagen, to do the impossible. The sheer amount of what was stolen was simply too much to find when you have around 50 people looking for over 5 million different objects scattered across the world, you know your chances are slim, but they figured they'd do what they can. Finding the art was the hardest part. Hitler and the Nazi regime went to incredible lengths to hide everything they stole. In fact, a lot of the artwork recovered was found miles down in coal or salt mines. It took years for some of the American soldiers to get any information from foreigners they encountered because they were afraid they would be killed for defecting. Even though the Third Reich had fallen, people were still terrified and kept their mouths shut. But finally, finally, after years of digging, research, interviews, Monuments men Captain James Romier found Rose Vallon, who worked as a volunteer assistant curator at the Jeux de Palme in France. This is one of the most famous art museums in the world and is where Hitler decided to funnel and store most of his stolen artwork during the German occupation of France. And incredibly, Vallon was put in paid service and became the overseer of the Jeux de Palme throughout Hitler's campaign. And here's the kicker, she understood German. The Nazis had no idea and would openly discuss their secret details in front of her. Rose recorded everything that passed through the Jeux de Palme. Without knowing it, Vallon had become one of the most important spies we would ever know. It was an extremely dangerous task as she was dealing with the Nazi party every day of her life. The amount of sadness and horror that Rose experienced on a daily basis was like nothing we could ever imagine. Each day she grew angrier and less hopeful that the war would never end, but Vallon kept her head down for over four years, just silently recording every detail. More than 20,000 details if you get my drift. Vallon regularly informed Jacques Girard, the director of more than 34 different museums around the world about the status of Nazi art looting. In addition, for four years she kept track of where and to whom in Germany the artworks were shipped and risked her life to provide information to the French resistance about railroad shipments of art so they wouldn't mistakenly blow up the trains loaded with France's priceless treasures. The museum was visited by high-ranking Nazi officials all the time. Vallon was there when Reich Marshal Hermann Göring, Hitler's second-in-command, came on May 3rd, 1941 to personally select some of the stolen paintings for his own private collection. A few weeks before Paris was liberated, Vallon learned that the Germans were planning to ship out the last five boxcars full of art, including many of the modern paintings. She notified her contacts in the resistance, who prevented the train from leaving Paris. The train was subsequently liberated by the French army. I mean, that is so cool. The liberation of Paris by American forces in late August 1944 placed Vallon in a new but still precarious position. She possessed enormously valuable information about the fate of tens of thousands of masterworks stolen from French collections. The problem of collaborationism in liberated France left her trusting no one but Jouard. 
Only after months of relationship building by Monuments Men Captain James Romere did Valan agree to finally turn over her most important records. The information Valan had risked her life gathering served as a treasure map for Romere and the Monuments Men leading to the discovery of multiple repositories of looted art, most prominently at the Neuschweinstein Castle in the Bavarian Alps. Hidden inside the castle were more than 20,000 works of art and cultural objects stolen by the Nazis from private collectors and art dealers in France, including the Rothschilds, David Weil, Kahn, Rosenberg, and Bernheim June, among others. Valon's secretly gathered notes would later be instrumental in expediting the restitution process of returning objects to their rightful owners. Eager to track the tens of thousands of works of art stolen from France, Valon applied for and received a commission into the French First Army on May 4, 1945. She remained a dauntless advocate for the return of looted French-owned art as an art representative for the French Commission on Art Recovery and worked closely with the other monuments men at various collecting points identifying works of art belonging to France. The United States awarded Valon the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1948, and she received the Officer's Cross of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany as well. Valon was one of the most decorated women in France, but it wasn't until 1953, after 20 years of service to the French museums, that she was finally awarded the title of Curator. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Please don't be shy. Leave a comment if you have any questions and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next week, class dismissed.